Example C23.2.1. From the example, we see a list of loads in the installation. And our first job is to allocate these loads to a load group. The 24 lighting points will go into load group A1, as does the 10 metres of lighting track. Note 4 of table C1 states every metre of lighting track equals two points. This means the 10 metre track contributes 20 points. Note 5 states that loads above 2.3 metres up to 150 watts can be included in load group A1 as a point. The 50 watt exhaust fan fits into this group, giving us a total of 45 lighting points in the A1 load group. Now, let's apply the calculation from column two of table C1. The first 20 points attracts three amps. The second, two amps. And the remaining five points add another two amps. This gives a total of seven amps for load group A1. A point allocation is not given in load group A2. Here, we use a percentage load allocation. Column two applies 75% of connected load to the three kilowatt outdoor lighting. This gives a maximum demand current of 9.8 amps. Load group B1 has nine single and eight double socket outlets. Reading note eight of table C1 explains that multiple socket combinations equal the number of integral sockets in the combination. This will give a total of 25 points. However, there is a 1000 watt strip heater in the installation that according to note nine, can be included in the load group B1. The new total is 26 points and the calculation from column two is 10 amps plus five amps giving a total load in group B1 as 15 amps. Load group B2 has one 15 amp socket, contributing 10 amps to the maximum demand calculation. Again, we apply a percentage calculation in load group C in column two. For our 10 kilowatt range, the maximum demand calculation is 50% of connected load. The load current for the range is 43.48 amps, with 50% of this being 21.7 amps, which is the value determined for maximum demand. Finally, the 4.8 kilowatt storage hot water system in load group F will contribute 100% of its load to the maximum demand calculation. This works out at 20.9 amps. We now add all the loads allocated to each load group together. This value is the calculated maximum demand of the installation. The maximum demand in this installation is 84.4 amps, and the mains cable will be selected based on this value.